Your morning news now. The COVID-19 vaccine trial at the UW Hospital in Madison just started and now it is on hold. The company that created the vaccine, AstraZeneca, made the decision after learning of a suspected serious adverse reaction to a participant in the UK. AstraZeneca has not said when the trials will continue. The number of participants that have already received the vaccine is also not known. It's way harder for the university to control what we do when we're not on campus. A 14 day self imposed quarantine is now in place for students at Winona State University. The campus is also closed to the public. The quarantine limits all non essential activities on campus. Courses with face to face instruction will either shift entirely online or precautions will be increased. All employees who do not need to be physically present on campus will shift to remote work. The university is not currently aware of any serious illness related to COVID-19 on campus. An eighth grade student at Aquinas Middle School tested positive for COVID-19. Administration says the student is at home and doing well and will remain in quarantine for 14 days per county guidelines. Contact tracing is being conducted going back 48 hours prior to the student's first symptoms. No other students will need to quarantine, but families are asked to keep an eye on potential signs of symptoms. And a COVID-19 case is confirmed at State Road Elementary School in La Crosse. The person is not being identified, but was in the building during the week of September 1st when teachers were doing meet and greets with parents and students. Anyone that was potentially exposed is being contacted by the school. Well, get ready for another cloudy, unseasonably cool, and also wet day as uh, scattered showers continue to rotate across the area from the west-southwest to the east-southeast. And this fetch of moisture extends all the way into the central plain, so we're going to be uh, in and out of these showers today and through about midnight tonight. Three firefighters are in a Fresno hospital this morning after battling wildfires in California. Warnings and watches have been posted across much of the western U.S. A record 2.3 million acres have burned in California with more than a month still left in the peak wildfire season. Fires are also burning at an alarming rate in Washington, where officials say 58 new wildfires started in a 24 hour period. Authorities say gusty winds will continue to make the wildfire battle difficult. A new task force in Madison is addressing racial disparities and police policies following the shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha. The task force will bring different community representatives together to develop a bipartisan package of bills for the next legislative session. It will also evaluate a package of bills that Democrats proposed in June, guidelines that the Wisconsin Police Association released last week, and bills that were signed into law in other states across the country. I really believe it adds a layer of protection to both the officers and the citizens um, from either side. The Onalaska Police Department is requesting body cameras in the city's 2021 capital budget. The department's police chief, Charles Ashbeck, is requesting $85,000 for 31 body cameras. He says the equipment will help the department be more transparent and benefits both the community and police. Happening now, some of America's best soldiers are at Fort McCoy to show off their skills. Members of the Army Reserve from across the U.S. are competing in the 2020 U.S. Army Reserve Best Warrior Competition. About 50 soldiers are competing for the title. Some of the competitions include pistol and rifle shooting, obstacle courses and land navigation, and decision-making exercises. The competition runs through tomorrow. Volunteers in our community are making sure every kid has a comfortable bed to sleep on. The La Crosse County Chapter of Sleep in Heavenly Peace is holding its biggest bed build to date. It's happening on September 19th at Timmer's 10 Mile Pub just off of County Road YY. The Shelby Volunteer Fire Department and St. Joe's Lions Club will be putting together 60 beds. If you know a child in La Crosse County between the ages of 3 to 17 in need of a bed, you can visit shpbeds.org to request one. Well, we had off and on uh, generally light rain showers overnight. Still some light rain showers scattered about this morning with temperatures in the 40s, and they're not going to move much at all with periods of showers. Highs only around 52 degrees. That would set a new record cool high for the date, which is 56 at uh, way back in 1901. Frost advisory tonight, uh, 1 a.m. to 8 a.m. tomorrow for uh, 
Chippewa and Dunn counties with temperatures perhaps in the low to mid 30s there. Otherwise, partial clearing overnight, maybe some fog in spots late tonight, early tomorrow. Otherwise, highs tomorrow around 64. We want to thank you for sharing your morning with us and hope you have a great day. We'll look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow.